How's it going guys? My name is Laura and uh, I figured I should probably make it another quick vlog for you guys. I'm working on getting my new space set up. Um, still some things to iron out but I was just I was excited about it so I thought I should uh, let you guys know since you'll notice anyway but that's not why I'm trying to make this video today. The point of my video today is to discuss or address something that has been discussed uh, quite a lot over the past few days of, um, which I had not even noticed had affected me but it is affecting me is this this new um, this new restricted mode thing that YouTube has got going on that is blocking out LGBT content. Well, frankly, it's disgusting. I'll try and keep this political. I'm not happy about it. Virtually my entire channel has been uh, restricted. So if you're looking for my videos or if you're if you're on a restricted browser, you're not going to find any of my content. You probably won't even see this video. Lots of YouTubers are having this problem. I mean, my fiance, all like a bunch of his videos are, are, uh, are restricted too and and there's not even really any explanation as to why uh, this has happened, if it's been a mistake or not. I mean, YouTube has come out and since and said they're working on fixing it. Hopefully they, they do actually fix it. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. But it's not just it's not just LGBT content. I've had videos, um, and so is my fiance, where we, we talked about uh, mental, health, mental, mental illness, anxiety, depression, whatnot. Those are gone, those are out. So anything at all, all of my videos, virtually all of my videos have been restricted I, I i don't know what's going on what's up what's up youtube what, what are you what are you doing with with that i had always thought youtube was kind of a, a space where i could be you know feel safe making my videos and connecting with people like me and um i had always thought that google and youtube were very progressive uh, groups and I'm hoping that that's uh, still the case and that that's not changing for those of you who don't know exactly what I'm talking about I'm just gonna show you quick really here. So this is on, on my channel If you go down to the bottom of your browser, there's this restricted mode right here right now It's set to off if I turn this on click on save Look at what happens to my channel All of my all of my let's plays are gone a uh, videos. I have I have three videos that are okay apparently Two of my vlogs, one of my let's plays. There is nothing different about these videos than any of these other videos that I've updated. Obviously, you can see all of my le um, let's plays with Dawn have been taken off because you know it's a it's an LGBT couple that's inappropriate for uh, for families to see. What? I don't talk about my transition in all my videos. There are entire Let's Play series where I don't even mention it once. When I play a game, I talk about the game that I'm playing. Occasionally, I'll tell a story or whatever. Um, and there are some times where I mention it maybe in passing or like whatever, but like I don't talk about it as an active thing, which is something I actually want to start doing more often, um, either in vlogs or just in my Let's Plays, whatever. This, these are some very serious issues which need to be addressed. The reason I haven't touched them before is because there's so many people out there to do that I felt like adding my voice to the group wasn't really going to do anything that they weren't already covering since they're so much better at vlogs than I am. But I figure... I should just start start doing it anyway. I need to start talking about these things or I'm gonna go crazy. This is obviously a very serious issue and this is a very serious issue for me personally and for a lot of other people out there. Um, this is affecting a lot of people. I mean, if you don't have your restricted mode turned off, you're not, or turned on, you're not gonna lose out on any content. As far as I know, videos aren't getting blocked or flagged or anything and taken down. All my videos I've, I've gone through and checked and as far as I can tell, all my videos are still there with this restricted mode turned off, but basically what this restricting LGBT content means is that it's insinuating or it's even just flat out yelling it across the room that being LGBT is wrong and bad and not family friendly, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's making people, underage people who are LGBT feel like it's bad and, and it's inappropriate and it should not be done. It, it causes a lot more damage than people seem to think. It adds a whole extra layer of, of fear on top of everything else that that doesn't need to be there so it really upsets me and i'm really hoping that youtube uh, makes good on their their words and they actually do fix this problem because this is this is not something that can just be swept under the rug this is very important and this cannot just be ignored this is causing a lot of people a lot of grief and i'm not just talking about restricting youtubers getting rid of monetization i'm not talking about anything like that this is so beyond that this is affecting everyday people people who go to youtube to try and and find themselves people who find youtubers that are like them they can they can they can see that they're 
it's okay for them to be what they are. That being what they are isn't wrong, that it isn't disgusting. And doing something like this sends a message that it is, that it is wrong, it is disgusting. And now I know from, from what I've seen, Google and YouTube are very progressive companies. They're not trying to, or, or, well, Google, I guess Google owns YouTube, whatever. It's very progressive and, and doesn't want to send this kind of a message, so I don't know why they would turn around and do this. It doesn't make any sense, and I'm hoping it's just an oversight and they're going to fix it. They insist that their policy is to be inclusive for everyone, but this doesn't exactly fit the bill. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to hope that this is just uh, an issue with some sort of algorithm or something that they put in place. I'm just going to hope that it's a, a happy mistake, or maybe a not-so-happy mistake. Uh, but that it will be corrected because this is unacceptable and it cannot stay the way it is. But again, I'm going to wait and see what, what YouTube says and how this pans out because you've got to give them a chance to defend themselves. I'm a little bit worried. I'm also hopeful. And uh, I guess that's just all we can we can do right now is just keep letting them know that we are not okay with this, that this is not okay. Um, and just don't just be so we're not going to take this lying down. We're not going to be quiet about it. Um, because YouTubers big and small, we're gonna make a stink because this is not okay, this is not cool. I'm not gonna stop making videos, I'm not gonna censor my content, obviously, can't censor myself, I exist. Okay, put a big black, I'll just have a black screen, my, or my face cam will just be a black screen. I am who I am, we are who we are, and we're not going anywhere, we're not gonna change, and this whole thing needs to change, and hopefully it will. So I'm holding out hope. Uh, so I guess keep an eye on the, how this develops in the next little while. I certainly will be keeping a very close eye on it and uh, I guess we'll see how that all goes. Hopefully this is not going to be a, a sign of things to come. Hopefully this is going to blow over and then everything will correct itself and uh, so we'll just have to wait and see how it all pans out. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Just know that you are all appreciated. You are all valued. You are all loved and there is a place for you and that place is here and you, you don't have to worry about anything because we're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. So thank you all. I love you guys and I will see you all in the next video. Stay sexy. Bye guys.